Hello guys, welcome to another episode of The Darkest Dungeon. We are going to continue off where we left last time. Last episode was a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. A uh, whole party died, and on our last mission, we managed to stay in, which is good, because it means we have enough money to do another, um, do another dungeon now, otherwise we would really be in a lot of trouble. But we are still not too bad. We've got we, we've so many people have died that we're pretty much starting back from scratch. A lot of people are still back on level zero, so we certainly won't be doing the darkest dungeon anytime soon. But you know we're still alive, so it's it's a plus, right? So who am I going to put a speed stone on? I think as a jester, Slippy Boots already has seven. He does have plus five dodge too, so I think he's kind of good enough as it is. Light sensitive is something I need to get off Safi if I can. And I think I might actually give her the speed stone too. So, if I go ahead and do that, I'm going to go to the sanitarium. And I think Safi's uh, light sensitivity is definitely sort of worth fixing. 1,500 is kind of expensive, depending on how expensive Trent's the fits is. That's uh, only 750. So, we're going to start with a short... Um, we're going to start with a short dungeon here and then we'll uh say where we stand i usually like to have about 5k worth of gold before i do a, a dungeon just to get the vital supplies and stuff like that everyone else is kind of okay for stress i think i'm going to use level zeros uh for this one here and i think what we need to agree is don't turn the torches off just don't i'm not a good enough player that i can turn the torches off and use my characters effectively to the point where I can have that much of a disadvantage going into the fight. So, we're definitely going to keep torches on. I think it was a stupid mistake. We've learned from it. I also think we're going to avoid the cove for a little while. Because I play this game when I'm not recording. Obviously, I have another save, which I do all my uh, other game time on with. And cove gives me a trouble on those too. It's the creatures in there deal so much damage. And they have enough creatures in there that can guard them. And protect them while they do that damage that I can't see my characters doing more DPS than they can per turn so it's like it's not a fight that you often win if you do win you're usually in a pretty bad shape after these fights so I'm gonna wait until we level up before we go for the cove I'm thinking about level 3 but we'll see obviously we do kind of need to go at the cove at times because it gives us a higher chance of getting quests and quests are used for everything right so we definitely need to consider trying that. So, I think in that case we will go to the wheel since we haven't got our one charge on that. So, we'll go for the wheel for this one. We will take... We will take Piper. We will take Rage. Or Rage 2. Uh, I'm not going to... Oh, do I want to take Watermelon? Yeah, okay. Piper can stay out for this one. I'm going to put Watermelon in here. I'm going to put Gizmo in the second slot. And in the first slot... Should I put Mario in? I don't know if I'm convinced. Okay, this may seem a bit questionable, but I'm going to retro in the second slot and uh, Giz in the first slot. I know he isn't, I mean, not Giz. I know retro isn't the best in the second slot, but you can use a throw and dagger as well as pick to the face. I'm not particularly bothered about her not being able to use poison darts mainly because it's it does no damage and it's blight so if i want to do blight i can use a uh, rage to take care of that okay i'm always gonna be happy with that so let's go ahead and give it a try okay i always take one of each even if i have some like i got uh, an anti-venom straight away because of the plague bearer i always like to take one of each anywhere so i'm gonna get three keys oops Three of these. Should I only take eight torches? Yeah, I'll take eight torches and I'll take... Because it's only a shot. So we'll take 12 food, eight torches. And I'm reasonably happy with that. Should I take a holy water? Mm, kind of expensive. We'll take one. But uh, I don't think we'll need more than one. It depends. Like I said, this isn't the best like team composition. But because it's a short one... I'm reasonably happy that we can do this with no problem at all. Didn't I say that for the last one? Hmm. We'll see. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Alright, I think Retro has the best scouting chance here, so I'm always going to use her to uh, 
walk through. Okay, this should be easy enough. I need to target down the Acolyte. There's going to be a lot of bleed from these dogs, but I think it shouldn't be that big of a deal since they don't do a lot of damage. Two resists for the uh, for the bleed there is pretty good. Alright, Giz can go ahead and turn. Hmm. I think I just guaranteed the kill on the Acolyte. Give them no quarter. Ah, that was a bad one. Alright, I'm going to use Emboldening Vapors, plus 25% damage on Giz, which means he can now do Wake, which will hit them both. Yeah, it does a fair amount of damage, we'll be happy with that. Gives him another bust, buff, bus? Gives him another buff too. Okay, I'm going to keep buffing him with Wage. Can use Retro to wipe him out. Maintain the offensive. I'll use Vulnerability Hex on him to give him minus 15 dodge, so uh, Giz's uh, attack here will definitely hit. And Nice, so I was after. Gives us a crit. Bit of a minus on the old stress. That was a good fight. I'm happy with that. I do quite like Abominations. It's just a shame about... Wow. Bit awkward. To life. Should have spotted that trap. Alright, four. Four dogs. A bit unfortunate. A bit worried about the bleed here, but should be okay. I do have bandages. Okay, so Retro gets bleed first. In that case, I'm just going to use Toxin Trickery to get rid of the bleed. The problem with Rabid Rush on these is that they like move forward every time they use it, so I can't really hit with the Blight effectively. Ah, oh, Willy. Come on. I think this is almost very much a very much a like anti uh, bleed and blight composition here because not only can retro heal herself from bleed but also uh, rage can also heal quite a nasty hit that oh come on retro uh, blah, blah, blah. This is with Donk. Alright, Giz has got rabies. That's well, relatively cheap to, uh, to fix. Nice quit heal. Trying to get rid of uh, whatever bleed I can. Zero. And you afflicted bleed on yourself. That was that was good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is Alright, let's see what we can get. Uh, a good amount of quests, I'm going to be happy with that. Um, I think I'm going to use the bandages on Watermelon since he did. He does have a double stack on the bleed. And it doesn't really matter which way we go. I'm determined to search this entire cave. If we can't, if we can't search an entire short cave, then... I don't know. I don't even think this is that bad of a team. I just think... Uh, there's been a lot of dodges so far.
Alright, we've got a scout, it's pretty good. Alright, so there's a fight on that side and there's also a trap coming up. We'll go this way first. Making a decent amount of money, which is also a plus. Please go first, I want to go first. Thank you. Right, I need to target you down. Stress damage is a bit of an issue right now. Um, I think... Oh, come on, Watermelon. What is your aim chance? I'm going to have to transform you again. Stress is going to become an issue, but I... There you go. I think I've got a pretty good idea of what I would actually want as a main composition. I'm thinking I could have an abomination uh, up front. Then I could have a, a plague doctor at the back. Um, possibly a high woman on the second position. Ah, uh, there's no heal though. Hmm. We'll see. Now these guys have a really high protection, so it's hard to really do a lot of damage to them. So... I'm going to keep buffing him. I'm going to use Watermelon to one. Really? Doesn't it heal up? It heals up to like eight. Alright, fair enough. Plus 60% damage now on Giz. Should set up for a really good hit here. Nice dodges too. I wonder if speed... Uh, also applies to uh, dodges. Okay. I think I can now kill this one off. I'm going to use Toxin Trickery on Retro here, just to make sure she doesn't get a uh, Death Star. Happened anyway. Okay, so apparently that guy just hit through 20 dodge. Alright. Fair enough. If you say so. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Alright, well you need healing, so go ahead and do that. Nature herself. A victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed. So we've got a couple of stress issues here, mainly because of uh, Giz's abomination, but I felt like it's definitely been needed for him to transform, because we're not killing them quick enough. So there's another battle coming up here. We have to do 100% of the wounds, so it doesn't matter regardless. I might eat some food on Retro before we go anywhere. A Grave Dug in Haste. Yeah, can definitely do that. Oh, I walked into it too. I saw it there and I didn't do anything. Okay. How bad is this? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm going to have to transform here. It's going to knock these guys past stress, but I think it's too late now anyway. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Yeah, so there's the stress for incantation. It would have knocked him into uh into madness anyway. I think I use Giz to take care of these two. It would be a quit, like... Okay. Alright, so now Retro's turned. Oh, don't pass. Okay, do you know what? 
So do none of you wanna, like, do none of you wanna, you know, have a decent turn? Just throwing that out there. Right, so I can't even move because if I move, you're the key target. So I'm just gonna cast that as solution. Gizmo's basically useless for the rest of this fight. This is ridiculous. Like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Like, I'm just getting absolutely destroyed. Get out of it. Right, uh... Who do I need more? Retro or Watermelon? Because they're both going to get Death Dawed again, but I need somebody who... Can at least take the hit. I think I need. I think I need watermelon more. I need. I need the heels. Ah. Is a tenuous proposition in this sprawling tomb. This game hates me. This game actually hates me. It's funny because on all my other, on a lot, on, ugh. do you know what? I don't. On all my other playthroughs, I'm I'm doing fine. Like it's all pretty much fine. But I'm just I'm getting absolutely destroyed on on this playthrough. Okay, so he's dead. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. There you go. So too will resistance. Alright, we're down to three. I didn't mean to use that. Do you know what? A blazing star is born. Right, how am I gonna move these? Well, you already No. Do as you're told. Thank you. Watermelon's close to a uh, heart attack level now. I might make it a rule where if a character dies three times, like a name, I'll then change the name to something else. Just something to keep it fresh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Nothing of interest. We have enough money to do another... Um, to do another one, so we're still okay, but we're not making any progress, that's kind of the problem. Minus bond speed, 20% move resist, it's, it's not worth it. It might go for about 750, so if I get rid of the onyx and replace it with that. Okay, one more room. Is it a fight? Could be, it's a curio. I have plenty of food. Right, I could do some more quests, so if there's anything I can use to get rid of those, I think I can get with, afford to get rid of the holy water now. That's worth 500, that's worth 500, they're worth 250 each, I've got three of those, same there. I think I don't want those. I suppose technically I could get rid of the anti-poisons, which is probably what I should have done, or anti-venom. Okay, bit of 3v3. Okay, 
Okay, nice dodge. Okay, he's dead. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Ah, oh, I didn't get bleed. That's fine. But you're dead next turn, so I can pretty much focus on you now, right? Okay, stunning him was pretty useless there. Okay, you're going to hit bleed on Death Star next turn. So if I'm going to kill you, I need to do it now. That's fine, as long as he actually hit. You got lucky. We're just still alive, just about. Holding on. That was a nasty shot. Right, finish him off. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Cool. Right, continue adventure just to get this chest here. Small. Okay, we'll end the quest there. That was a nightmare, just like every other quest has been for us, every other dungeon. Hmm. <laughs> I mean. We made a tidy profit off that dungeon, so I'm reasonably happy with that. The item's pretty trash, we'll probably sell that. But, progress-wise, we're not making a lot of progress. When you consider the fact that we have to do all the healing for stress and stuff like that while we're at the town, like, there's just no progress. Hard noggin and... 20% staff... 20% uh, stress damage versus human, and plus 15 stun resist, I think... I mean, I, I guess that's worth it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And then we'll uh, go ahead and do a... We'll do a medium, because we have to continue on, so... Before the crows and rats made it their domain. Okay, so Trent can go ahead and get sorted. Uh, Giz, I need to heal, so... I can't really afford to do those two right now. One of you can go to the bar. Like, Watermelon can go to the bar. Wage can go to the gambling hall. Giz needs to get uh, fixed for the wabies. Fear of Eldritch. In town, stress damage. Okay. I'm trying to think of something that I could get rid of. That is particularly scary. Right now, I don't think there's anything particular. Oh my god, the yips. Minus five accuracy. Maybe that. Ha ha ha. I think we might have found out why there were so many dodges. Interesting. However, that's sculled. So that's going to cost me about 5k. So I'd rather not. Should I get Piper to get rid of Dark Temptation? How much is that? 1,500. I don't think we need to just yet. I don't think we're that bad off. As for these, these are both pretty trash tier items. So, I'm fine with getting rid of those. We now need to get two more heroes. So, ah, now this is interesting. We haven't got an arbalist. So, I don't think we do anyway. No. So, we'll get an arbalist. And we'll call you... Who do I currently not have? I don't have a camera, but it's not entirely what I had in mind when I was thinking about camera. Hmm. Interesting. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Abzi. Abzi could be the arbalist, and particularly want another abomination. I've already got two. And I've already got 
I've only got one grave robber. I could do some off front line though. I haven't got enough front line. No, we'll wait for now, I think, and we'll use uh, some of our quests and our deeds here to. No, nope, not the abbey. To upgrade the uh, the guild. To upgrade uh, weaponry. The and then we can upgrade armor as well. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an army. Okay, this is going to be a bit all in, but we're going to do a medium. And I'm going to upgrade uh, weapons and stuff as well. Hopefully this will keep us back, this will put us back on track. If we can get a good uh, thingy. Do I bring Safi with me as well? I think I do. Safi's actually quite strong, so she's not level 1 yet, so she can't upgrade her stuff though. Slippy boots I could put in the second position, but I don't know if I particularly want to. Um, Abzi can definitely go in the fourth position. She's going to have to, I think. So I think, yeah, we'll put Safi in the uh, in the second position. We'll put Abzi in the fourth position. That does mean we don't have any heal. Did we say we were taking Cloudless? Yes, it does. So Cloudless, so we will have heal. So I'm actually reasonably happy with that. And I'll also, while I'm at it, upgrade her heal, her party heal. For Mario, I'm going to upgrade... Zal's accusation, I'll also upgrade Smite. And I'm reasonably happy with that. So, we're going to do a medium of 4.5k. I think that's possible. What's that? Minus 1 speed plus 15% protection on an abomination. That's not a terrible item. It is uncommon too, so it'd be worth a little bit more. Alternatively, we can go to the Warrens and we can get a Haste Chalice. This one's paid my 15 stun skill chance. I think we might want to go to the Warrens for our medium for a day. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll do it. I think that's probably our best chance. So, Abzi, welcome to the team. You can go in the last position there. Cloudless can take position three, and Safi and Mario can take the front. Reasonably happy with that. So, how well protected can I keep? my team with 4k. I want to spend all of it if I can. I really want to go all out for this one. So I'm going to go 8-8. Eight, eight. And I'm going to go 12. 12-8? Yeah, I'll go 12-8. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to get another Holy Water and I'm going to get a bandage because I feel like bleed is more common than blight so I'm reasonably happy with that. Do I want any medicinal herbs? Hmm. No, not right now. I think we'll be okay without those, but we'll see. We'll find out. See how many people we lose here. Drink my tea real quick. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm dying. Good. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Okay, so what we're going to do is here, we're going to go around, so we're going to go up. Oops. There we go. We're going to go up, up, or across here, down, down. And then we're going to go up to this bit here as we go back and just go straight across. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that trap? Because I certainly didn't see it. Do you know what? I think that was worth doing for the extra food. That's why I switched to Cloudless, because she can afford to take some stress damage right now. In fact, I think I might keep click. What's the Arbalist's uh, trap? Uh, it's only 10%. So the best bet is... Oh, that's why none of us has a particularly high uh, trap discover waiting. Alright, well that's going to be a bit unfortunate, but... it's something. I always thought the Hellion had a higher uh, trap resistance weight. Curious is the trap maker's art. Look at the stress level already. 
Well, on the plus side, we haven't had any monsters yet, but that's also that also means we haven't made any money yet. Okay, carrion eaters. They should die reasonably easy. Okay, that's blight. We can afford to get we can get rid of that. Do I want to? Yeah, it only does one, so I'd rather save it for something a bit more. Um, that does knock back. Yeah, just do a regular shot here, I think. It's a nice quit. That's really going to help drop her stress down. Okay, it's good. Happy with that. Gonna have her eat a little bit. Okay, Klaus is going to investigate. She's, she's obsessed with killing, I think. Strangely, strangely fascinated. That'll give her blood thirsty. It's not that big of a deal. Traps scare me right now. Okay, that's good. I'd rather Cloudless got attacked than, uh, say, Safi right now. Do I want to just party heal? I think I'm just going to party heal here. Nice quit there. Yeah, I'm just going to regular hit. I feel like the Arbalus isn't an amazing choice for um, for this area. But we seem to be doing pretty well. Nope, nothing. Okay. Should I camp now? No, I'm going to wait till I get to the bottom here, and I'm going to walk back up here. Then I'll use the uh, the camp, I think. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Okay, I've got plenty of food, so that's fine. A map is actually great. That is going to stop us from falling in. There's a trap. There's another trap. We won't be going to that area anyway, so that that one we can ignore. It's actually discovered all the traps on the map, so that's really good for us. Okay. I can only really attack him. That's done. Hmm. Nah. It's not good. Okay, slice and dice, maybe some bleeds. No, a couple of deed buffs. Nice dodge there on the uh, damage modifier minus 50. Yeah, I'm going to use that on uh, the cut four, I think. And try to knock him down. I know I always said we should try to focus on the Fusilier because he does area of effect, but it doesn't seem to be that powerful, so I'm debating whether that's actually that good of a uh, strategy. So I'm going to stun you. Just for a while so I can uh, get these two down. Plus blanket fire doesn't seem to be that accurate from what I've seen. The Alright, there's one. Rolls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay, you're dead next turn. You're still bleeding, but that's fine. I can afford to hit you now because you're still stunned. So you'll get one more blanket fire off. Yeah. It's not too bad. A lot of debuffs on dodges and stuff, but not particularly concerned. Okay. Cloudless, I prefer a kill here if you can. Yeah, it's pretty close though. Monstrous size has no intrinsic. I right, absolutely finish him off. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered cool. a virtue. Cool. That was a pretty good fight. A stone used for ancient barbaric rituals. Hmm. Sacrificial stone. I could put Clawless or Abzi 
as the person for this one. Or I could use a holy water. I think I'll use a holy water. Okay, so it doesn't do anything. Right. There we go. Cool. Abzi now has Woe and Scroungers, so she got a positive perk from that. We lost a holy water because it had no effect, basically. Um, but I think it was worth a try anyway. Could have been a bad thing. Okay, it's going to be some stress damage on Cloudless, but she's kind of okay for the, for the most part. I can get rid of that Blight. Okay, this might be a bit scary. There's the stress damage straight on Safi. 98. He just bleed, I think, so I'm in particular, I want to get rid of him if I can. Ball and chain on Abzi. That's stun, I think. Yeah. Do I want to heal Mario here? Or do I want to go for an attack? I think on the basis I want that swine wish dead. I need him to get low enough so I can take him out. With uh, Abzi. Okay, the vomit didn't hit uh, Safi, so that's a plus. This will... So we're going to uh, get Safi to uh, insanity. Nice. There we go. Vigorous. That's really good for us. Can hope and so we get stat bonuses and stuff now. It's pretty great. I think we'll just finish you off then. Cloudless is really good at keeping our torch up, which is a pretty big deal. I can't actually do anything with Mario from here, so I'm just going to try to get rid of these bodies to get them closer. And I'm just stunned, sadly. How much is the bleed? Uh, it's only two. Nice shot there by Savvy. That did the business. And I think... I think the heal is more worthwhile than finishing this guy off right now. Gonna just one damage. Yes, it's stress damage, but we can camp uh, after this, so I'm reasonably happy with that. Okay, good. A dark ult with skulls pounding and a strange power can be felt in presence. I'm holy water win that. No effect? Wow. Okay. Cloudless? Nice. Increased damage, accuracy, and a uh, quit chance. Cannot be a. Uh, Oh, it's until camp. Oh, I was going to camp now. Sadly, I think I'm going to have to get rid of that buff so I can camp. Just because I want Mario's stress damage to go down. So we need to get that sorted out. We still have plenty of food, which is fine. Quite frankly, I'd be happy to just have a mission where nobody's died. Quite like in the Safi Mario combination here, though. I think I'd like Maui, uh, I'd like Safi to have the ability that hits free in like a line, but apart from that, 20, 20, 10, and 10 in our 2020, 10. So I'm going to use Safi to uh, try to. Nicely done. Odds were against on that one. Dash treasures, some more food. Can't be mad at. Shouldn't have actually used that food there. I could have saved it for the camp. Wow, target straight on Mario. Okay, I need to target down. Cloudless's job is to get rid of the swine wretches here, I think. Pretty good. Ah, it's a bit unfortunate. As long as Mario doesn't get fully stressed, I'm reasonably happy with how these, these fights go. How oh, quite hurts. That guy does tons of damage. He just has no health. Okay.
He can do 9 to 17. He only has 15 HP. The odds are against him, but give it a try, Maui. Oh, nice. Nicely done. That's good. That's one less stress dealer to deal with. A couple of bleeds coming down here, but it's nothing that I don't think we can deal with. Get rid of him. Ah, oh, the vomit on Maui. Oh. Is that going to be enough to stress? It is exactly 10. Well. Wow. Alright, well that puts Mario on irrational, which is a bit unfortunate, but yeah, that wasn't a great shot by Abzi. So I need Cloudless to start healing Mario now, I think. Mario's taking quite a beating. I'm going to bandage Cloudless up as payment. Okay, I'm going to stun this guy just so we can... Oh, really? 25%? Damn. That was unfortunate. Um, yeah, I'm going to use uh, Cloudless here just to kill off the, uh, the Swine Wretch. I think I'm going to try a stun again. 75% chance of hitting him. There we go. We've got some debuff resist here. Doesn't apply to Mario because he refused it because he's irrational. I just want to power this guy down. I believe, actually, funnily enough, I don't. Stun him again? Okay, that's good. The reason why I want to keep the stuns for as long as I can is I can keep healing uh, Mario. Sadly, the bleed does put a down on it. I think we can kill him now. Got the extra heal off. Uh, I definitely want to continue uh, adventuring here. We'll get the great power from this. <laughs> it's until camp. It's so bad. Uh, that's actually a mistake by me. I should have um, camped and then used that. Okay, it's unfortunate, but we're going to have to camp. A moment of respite. Chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. We can afford to use full food there. Okay. That's stress damage. Battle trance is not effective because she's not in position one. If religious, we use stress by 15. If... Yeah, that's definitely worth doing. Considering Mario is a religious type. Can you not use encourage on yourself? Oh, you can use stand tall on yourself. No, you can't. You can use zealous speech, though. That'll do it. Do I have anything that can prevent nightmare? I'm going to buff him so he takes less stress damage. Okay. What are you saying, Mario? What about a duck pond? I don't... Okay. The match is okay, no nightmare. That's the great. Star is born. Okay, let's continue along. I think we're doing well enough here that... Nice, Safi. Wow. Safi's been doing really well on this one, I think. She's kind of the star of this... Uh... The star of this dungeon. Although Cloudless has been really consistent with the heals. She's needed to do the damage where we've needed needed her to. Do I want to... I'm doing it again. I'm considering turning out the torch since we're doing so well. Strangely fast it with the remains bloodthirsty. Blood, kind of all of them end up having, having bloodthirsty from what I can tell. So it doesn't particularly bother me. I think I'm going to. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows. But yonder... A glint of gold. Believe it or not, this is actually pretty good. Doomsay is fine because it spreads the stress damage across everyone, so Mario doesn't get affected just on his own. These guys need to die. Ah, oh, it's a bad dodge. This is gonna hurt. Five? 
Well, that was underwhelming. Um, okay. I'm going to target down the... I'm going to target down the madman, I think. I hopefully Cloudless can finish off the madman. Safi and Mario can deal with these two. Four is not that bad. I can live with that. Okay, there's one. Good job, Mario. Another Doomsday. Again, that's fine. As long as he keeps attacking us all equally. Although Mario's not helping. <laughs> Talking out of his ass. Alright. 78% uh, chance to hit. Can use either of these here. They both kill. I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with uh, Zaz Accusation just because I can also hit this... Uh, the body here to weaken it so I can get to this guy quicker. Yeah, vomit was fine that. Finish that guy off. Mario's stressing everyone out, but I think we're going to be okay for the moment. Mario refused to be healed, but everyone else got a little heal, uh, heal there from Cloudless. There's the vomit. It's not going to do too much. So he's fine for now. I need to finish this guy off, but I can't get past. I can't get past these bodies. I'm going to weaken them just so hopefully uh, Abzi can deal with him. Is he bleeding? Yeah, he is. Okay, he's dead. Cool. In that case, just get rid of the bodies there. Okay, good. We've got uh, two trinkets there. We've got a speed stone, which I can apply to... I'm going to apply to Cloudless, I think. And as for the unmovable helmet, nobody can currently use it, but I will give it to a bounty hunter as soon as we get one. No, I didn't mean to do that. Turn it off. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Okay, last room. The neck, if we have a battle in this room here, it will really make all the difference. To be fair, Ma uh, Mario is already irrational, so... If he gets stressed out here, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. I'm going to continue to uh, search the cave here. I want to get um, these two items here. I want to get as much money as I can. Wait, am I going to do that battle? I don't know. Thinking about it. There's a map. That doesn't really do a whole lot. I'm doing the fight. Oh, God, it's a collector. Okay, that's a bit scary. Right, first things first. You are getting stunned, sunshine. Right, the time is now. He needs to die, like, now, if not now, sooner. Because this guy is an absolute nightmare. 40% stun resist. This gives him a 90% resistance to the stun. I think I'm just going to hit him here. Still got stun resist. Nicely done, Safi. Jesus. You're so good. Alright. I could only use a baller here against uh, the collector. Plus 80% stun. Okay, he's definitely not going not gonna to get stunned now, so... Should I try it anyway? It's got 130%. No, it's, it's just not. Nice quit. Okay, collect call. Here they come. Well 
Nice. Ah, he's put himself as marked. Nice. If he guarded the uh, collector here, we would have had to run away. It's not good. That takes him out of killing range. How much life did that take? Ten? Hmm. Do I back out? My quest is complete. I can leave now. Yeah, I'm going to stick around for a little while yet. Devastating blow. Mario Safi, your job's to take care of these three. Abzi, Cloudless, you have to take care of this guy. As far as I'm aware, as long as I kill at least one of these, he has to use Collect Call. Nice, this may finish him off. Ooh, nasty shot there. The bleed's really stacking up now. Oh, I just used guard on him. Does it matter? The answer to that is yes, but... Hmm. Oh, hang on, no. He's getting guarded by him. No, he's not. That was uh, quite the misweed. Good. Well, I'm going to kill him, so you have to use collect call. Oh, that's so good. He's just changed his head call. Now I can attack him. Done. Right. Protect Abzi. Finish this fight off. This has gone really well here. I'm reasonably happy with this. Guard doesn't work on multi-hit attacks. Um, okay. I'm going to have to attack this guy. Ranged attacks doesn't do a whole lot against these. Try to shoot Sniper's Mark. Yeah. That's not Sniper's Mark. <laughs> Lies. So I had to keep some away from uh keep some away from Abzi for a bit. I'm happy with how this uh fight has gone though. This guy is really difficult to deal with if you can't get to that back line. Luckily our team composition is nicely uh set up to deal with back line, so Mario, don't you do that? Don't do it. Ah, oh, come on. Luckily, this guy, all this guy's doing is guarding because this guy's protection is huge 75%. Um, Cloudless is keeping Abzi alive for now. It has gone down to only two per turn now. I've just got an idea. I'm going to use Mario to stun this guy so he can't use uh, head games. So he can't protect this guy. And now this guy can start taking damage. Got him. Right, now it's just this guy. He doesn't do a lot of damage. All he can really do is protect. Oh my god, that heal! 12? Cloudless, what a hero. Alright. Stun you again if I can. No. That's fine. You're dead anyway. You have to pass. That's all you can do. All you c all this guy does is, pl is uh, protect other people. So, with nobody else to protect, this guy is officially useless. Alright, Safi, finish him off. 
Oh, I don't. Mario, finish him off. There we go. Good. All right, we got a dismass head. Minus 10% HP, minus plus 20% stress damage, plus 25% damage. I think... Who's this good for? This would be quite good in an abomination. Either way, this is worth a lot of money. So do you know what? I think this fight was definitely worth doing. I'm going to end the quest here. And I'm happy with this one. This one went really well, I think. Um, I think we had a little bit of an issue when it came to Mario getting uh, stressed out. It's definitely something I need to work on is dealing with stress. But uh, I'm reasonably happy with this part. Considering how bad the last part was, this part was better. We didn't get a lot of heirlooms, but I feel like we're okay. Okay, so Cloudless got... Well, technician plus 50% damage and well, which is pretty good. Mario got off guard, which I will get off him. But he did get a war boss, which is disease resist, so that's less blight, so I'm reasonably to be happy with that. So I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get off guard away from Mario. And I'll get time, another person to add to the uh, list, and I'll end this part here. Occultist, Abomination, Vestal. These are all f none of these are frontline. I don't I'm going to skip again. I don't I don't want them. So Giz can go in there because Giz needed healing. Mario needs healing. Uh, I'm going to take Mario to the tavern. Because it's cheaper. Actually I need to take him to the treatment ward, don't I? For um off guard, yeah. How much is off guard? Eh, it's a bit pricey, but I think it needs to be done. Now I think didn't somebody get ill? Mm, no. Okay. Well, I'm reasonably happy with that. I think our big issue has been we have not been upgrading our weapons, our armour, and we haven't been using the guild to upgrade our skills either, and that is a big issue that we are going to address um, as soon as we can. So, Piper is also a Vestal, so we'll give the Haste Chalice to her. A Bounty Hunter we don't have. A Bounty Hunter is something we could really do with right about now. A Dismas Head... Maybe Abzi. My stamps and HP takes away 2.7, so it'll be free, so it'll take it down to 24, but plus 25% damage? Yeah. We'll put it this way if I was to sell it. How much would I get for it? it says I'd get 150, no, I wouldn't. Go to the Nomad. I haven't unlocked the Nomad wagon yet? I didn't know that. Well, in that case, we have to keep it. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll give it to Abzi then. And I'm reasonably happy with that turn. Alright, guys, I'm going to end this part here. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Darkest Dungeon.